Jamie from the XX, so delighted to finally like welcome you back to Puckle Pop third time in a row. How are you feeling today? Looking forward to the show, probably. Uh, yeah, very excited. Thank you. A lot of people have been looking forward to your show with the XX, but you're you, you get to look forward to two shows because you're also playing at the Castello. Uh, having the honor to kind of close down the the whole three days of this festival. I was wondering what show, the one with the XX or your own show, requires the most preparation beforehand. Well, we've been preparing for our band show for like two years, so uh, that's a lot of preparation. And the DJ thing is, is a lot of fun, and I don't really have to prepare anymore, just play good tunes. Just go up there and enjoy it. Yeah. And which one pays the best? I'm not going to tell you that. <laughs> Okay, well you guys have been touring a lot uh, in Asia the past couple of weeks, also visiting new places like Istanbul you've never been before. That must have been a blast because Asia has a whole different like, atmosphere, a whole different culture than over here. Yeah, it was great. Uh, I've been to Asia a few times but we really got to see the depths of it yeah. and Istanbul was, was uh, also amazing. Did you have any like pinch me is this really happening moments? Well, the whole thing feels like a bit of a dream because we were very jet lagged and flying every day. And so, uh, yeah, I kind of had that feeling, but it's great. It's a great memory to have. All right. Well, uh, did you, uh, you played 18 shows in a row during the Manchester International Festival. Uh, 18 shows for only 60 people at a time. That must have been a humbling experience. Yeah, I think it's one of my favorite experiences as a band yeah. we've ever had. Uh, and I'd like to do it again. I mean, it's just, it was just like going back to when we first started playing in pubs, except people were actually listening to us. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's, that's a, a, a joyful. Well, what, what did you get out of it? Did it inspire you to go back to like the, the full-on live set uh, in front of a lot of people and change up things a little bit? Or? Yeah, and it just kind of gave us a new perspective on, on writing songs and everything, really. It's just, yeah, it's definitely a great experience, and I recommend it to other bands. Are you going to take it with you when writing for the follow-up to Coexist? Because that's been out since last year already. Have you guys been writing? We're doing some writing on tour, and we're not touring for much longer, so then we'll get back in the studio. Okay, looking forward to it. What did you like best? Some bands really dread, think the studio is dreadful and they like to perform, or the other way around. What do you like best, personally? Uh, we've all grown to really love performing, but we all feel a lot more comfortable and at home when we're recording music. Yeah, recording music? Yeah. And why is that? Just because you're in your comfort zone, so to say? I guess that's just how the band started. Mm -hmm. We just started making music in our bedrooms, and that's kind of how we still do it. Yeah. yeah, talking about starting out, of course you write these songs because you want to get something off of your chest because that's what you like doing. You never prepare, or you can never prepare for the moment that like thousands of people are singing the lyrics back to you. Often, in your case, uh, deep, heartfelt lyrics, of course. I, I've uh, known uh, Romy to say that it was very confrontational at times. D can you relate to that? Well, not as much as they can, but I mean, I always just think it's an amazing, it's an amazing feeling having all those people sing back lyrics, especially in places where they don't necessarily understand English. Yeah, yeah it's a great feeling. Uh, last question then, Romy and Oliver aren't here, so this is, this is a perfect moment to tell me one little secret about them. Maybe they have like a, a hobby or a, or a weird habit that you would know of, of course, being their best friend. Uh, Oliver is a really, really good dancer, and I really wish good she would dance even more on stage. Okay. He keeps that secret. And Romy, is she a good dancer as well? She dances in her own way. <laughs> she dances in her own way, which is uh, pretty special. <laughs> yeah. Can you, are you a good dancer, Jamie? No. No, not at all. <laughs> no. Me either. So there's uh, two of us then. Yeah. Well, have a great show with the XX on the main stage and also closing off the Castello. Uh, uh, be in your uh, very own individual self. Thank you. Thank you, man. Cheers.